thought I was blue. You would know if Aladdin is in trouble, wouldn't you? I thought he'd be back by now. Al will be back. Listen to Jeannie, dear. Jeannie knows. You've got to get your mind off this incessant waiting. Here's a surefire way to cheer up a bummed up ride to be. A heaping helping of matrimonial magic. <laughs> No good. What the wedding needs is a theme. It needs a groom, too, but let's work with what we have. Teeny! <laughs> it's a joke. I do that. Okay, let's see. This will be the second wedding for both of you. I'm thinking we need something a little more simple, a little more elegant, and less gray. <laughs> Get it done at home. I'm gonna throw some colors at you, mauve, teal, and salmon. What do you like besides the salmon? Okay, Madonna. Don't keep it. Just put that in the mix. Wink. Okay. I see lasers. It's a miracle. Hey, the lasers. Hey, the lasers. Like very much. <laughs> I don't think so. Trey Gauche, right? Hmm. Maybe you you could elope. No, you can't elope. But oh, honey, do. <laughs> I don't know where to put it under props or produce. Please don't squeeze the tires, they're not ripe. And how about that gown? Whether you're dancing with dwarves or simply biting the apple, it says, I'm a princess for now. A genie. Hey, it's synergy. The marketing guys are very excited to test really well. Thank you, genie. I'm sure it will be wonderful. And thanks for cheering me up. <laughs> Surely, Bob and the boy on the road to Agaba right now. Isn't that right, Bob? That's right, Bing. How about this town? Is it wild or what? It's like one giant sand trap and me without my wedgie. Hey, let's give a big hand for Brooke Shield. I find my son and lose my enemy. You did your old man proud of that. I was just trying to stay alive. <laughs> if you didn't fight, you would have been killed. So says the code of the 40 thieves. Does this code have any rules that don't end in death? It's a strict code. But there is one thing that I added. We never hurt the innocent. Uh, for future reference, I'm as innocent as the day I was hatched. Oh, brother. My men don't even know about this place. <laughs> Listen, boy, there is a treasure, the ultimate treasure. Compared to this, a pharaoh's tomb is a pauper's grave, a sultan's fortune nothing but lunch money. And I am this close to it. That's tantalizingly close. But it's on an island that is never in the same place twice. The vanishing isle. That would be a problem. What is this ultimate treasure? The big one, boy. The hand of Midas. It's just a myth. It's not a myth, boy. It was once right here. Look, there's your proof. From stern to stem, every piece of rigging, every peg and board, all of it, solid gold. Adopt me, daddy -o! Touched by the hand of Midas. And sunk by it. You don't understand. You don't know what it's like to have nothing. To stare up at the palace and know you deserve more. To be called street rat. Yes, I do. I knew exactly what I wanted for my family. The best. I couldn't give up and go back empty-handed. But the weeks turned into months and the months turned into years. I came back to Agrima one night, but I couldn't find my wife or my son. I thought my family was lost forever. At that moment, I would have traded anything to get your mother back. We never wanted gold. We wanted you. I 
wanted a father. I still do. Come to my wedding. This time, you have an invitation. Aladdin, I just don't know. Dad, I'm not going back to Agrabah until morning. At least think about it. <sighs> Aladdin may never understand, but it just wouldn't work. I don't belong in his world. The Oracle doesn't belong in his world either. It belongs in the hands of two enterprising treasure hunters. You and me. The Oracle. Probably just another dead end. It works! That's how the kid found you. It knows everything. Everything? And I know where they stashed it. Because see, we are talking about the wedding of your only son. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How can I pass it up?